Good to see Kalman, Councilman Kalman Yeager once again here at Med Review. So, uh, as I, good to see all the popular hotspots, right? The you know, Zev, uh, I just roll around New York City looking for where you're recording uh, a show and where you're broadcasting from and making sure that I show up so that I can get my couple of seconds on the mic. I know, I'm going to be targeting because I think you're going to be, you're filling in more air, my airtime than I am. Zev, if we just <laughs> carpooled around, you know, we could do this show and take it on the road. We gotta get. We gotta get a good driver. Where's Ezra? We'll get a driver to take us around. Yes, Ezra. Ezra is the driver, of course. So, what brings you to Med Review? Today? Look, I mean, uh, Joe Stam is a wonderful uh, resident of our community. He's a member of our community, an upstanding, great person, uh, an all-around fun, wonderful human being. And he throws this wonderful party every year. And it's the place to be. Uh, not my first time here. Uh, God willing, not my last. Um, he's a good friend, and uh, this is a good time of year to be with friends. Absolutely. And what are you working on since the last time I saw you? Ah, uh, you know, look, uh, it's it's always a battle. Um, uh, you know, you know me by now. I'm the lone no vote sometimes. Uh, sometimes I do it along with five or six other people. But uh, you know, today. Uh, uh, at the council, we were talking about a bill that would pump an additional $4 million in public funds uh, to the public advocates race. Uh, you know, when, when I said that I think we should talk about getting rid of that office, uh, one of the reasons was the cost. And now we're going to have a special election in 2019, February, and we, uh, the council uh, and the mayor will sign this bill, will be giving an, an additional matching fund grant. Uh, above and beyond what the previous matching fund was and it, the estimate is that in 2019 uh, it will cost the city approximately four million dollars and my point on the Florida Council was you know we, we talk about NYCHA and we talk about libraries and we talk about our roads and all the things in New York City more teachers more cops more firefighters all the things in New York City that need more money and I think sending glossy flyers into people's homes and paying for consultants for a political campaign is kind of what we don't need to spend the extra money on. Not to say I'm against the public financing program, but I don't think it needs to be an additional uh, 20 percent, and that's what it would work out to be. So are you getting traction on people saying, common, let's get rid of the public advocacy? I see just you know, the opposite, putting more money into well, it. Well, there are, there are people who are, who are talking about it. I mean, look, uh, you know, in, our, in our, the vote today, the council... Uh, voted on this and it was a 39 in favor, six against, three abstentions, and that's, uh, believe it or not, although the six and the three sound like a small number, but nine people uh, not being willing to say yes to something that the council is going to do is actually a big split. Um, you know, council votes are usually unanimous, and if they're ever not, it's one or two or three no votes. This was nine. So and I that's assume common you're not running for public advocate. I am not running for public advocate. And what I tell people is I have a job. Uh, and I have an important job. And it's being um, my community's voice at City Hall. Look, you know, uh, my, my community it was the only neighborhood in the city to vote no on all three questions that were on the ballot. Uh, we are consistent, and when when my neighbors uh, chose me to go be their voice at the at City Hall, I assume and I hope that they ask, what they're asking me to do is to vote the way they would, and they voted no on this question uh, last month, and that's what I did today, no on additional funding for an office. Um, uh, my, my community does not want to spend more money uh, for, for public financing for campaigns. I think that we agree that 6 to 1 is a generous match, 8 to 1 is pigs out of trough, and I won't vote for that. Councilman Kalmania, good to see you here, and uh, this one better is all about saving money and monitoring the costs, so I think that's what you're doing. Uh, with your calls. Well, that's that's our job in the council, and our job is to be responsible. Um, you know, our job is to vote uh, the the conscience of the people who sent you to City Hall, and that's what I try to do. Doing a great job, and we're going to get together the next day, so you'll be back on the air. All right, um, I'm just getting into the back of your car. <laughs>